Let's get back to our breaking team coverage now. We are closely watching or following Maryland's primary elections as results trickle in. It's too early to tell in some contests, like the very close Democratic race for governor. But on the Republican side, the Associated Press called it last night. Dan Cox, a far-right legislator endorsed by former President Donald Trump, is projected to win the primary. Jess Arnold is live at the State House in Annapolis this morning with what we need to know. Morning, Jess. Good morning. Yeah, as the projected winner of the Republican primary, Cox defeats uh, Kelly Schultz, who is backed by outgoing Governor Larry Hogan and more moderate policies. And that is what Governor Larry Hogan was advocating for moving forward, moderate bipartisanship. He had been vocal about criticizing Trump's divisive policies during his presidency. And this was shaping up to be a showdown for the direction of the Republican Party centering on this race in particular. But our team actually caught up with Dan Cox last night. Democrats are afraid, I think, the progressive Democrats see our candidacy as the only one willing to stand up and articulate the values that everyone loves in Maryland. The progressive values of bigger government, of more lockdowns, of vaccine passports, of jabs for jobs, these are out the window in my administration. And that's why I'm reaching out to everyone, every background saying, please join us. We're the candidacy that's going to give you your freedom back. His platform includes supporting police departments, opposing critical race theory, and what he calls gender indoctrination in schools. Now, State Delegate Cox had also been outwardly critical of Hogan's COVID policies, even trying to impeach him. But it's going to be a tough race. Maryland's a heavily Democratic state, so with Cox leaning far right, it's up in the air if Maryland will see a Republican governor next year. Now, on the Democratic side, which was a heavily contested race, it's still too early to call. Right now, Wes Moore, veteran, author, former CEO of Robin Hood Foundation, leads with more than a third of the votes, followed by civil rights attorneys attorney and former Montgomery County Council member Tom Perez with current comptroller Peter Franchot in third. But this race will be highly dependent on those mail-in ballots as many are coming from some Democratic stronghold counties in our area like Montgomery County, Prince George's County. So we need to see them all counted. Now here's what Wes Moore and Tom Perez had to say last night. We're feeling really good right now because we are standing in a group of believers. But not believers of a, of a campaign. We're standing in a group of believers that we as a state can be bolder, that we can move faster, that we can do this and we can do this work together. I continue to be exceedingly optimistic about where we are headed in this race because, folks, we have a pathway and it's a viable pathway, a very viable pathway. Again, those mail-in ballots still need to be counted. The State Board of Elections says they will start counting them tomorrow at 10 a.m., so it'll be a few days likely until we find out who the Democratic nominee for governor is. Guys. Jess Arnold reporting live from Annapolis. Jess, thank you. Here's a closer look now at the Democratic primary for Maryland governor. This race hasn't been called, but political newcomer Wes Moore has a solid lead over former Labor Secretary and DNC Chair Tom Perez at 37 to 27%. Meantime, State Controller Peter Franchot was in third place at 20%. Despite that, though, Franchot is confident that he can win. 